بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Weighted Average Cost of Capital uh, Also we can call it WAC What is Weighted Average Cost of Capital or WAC? Weighted Average Cost of Capital summarizes the after-tax cost of the entire capital structure Weighted Average is basically the average cost of capital of the business Let us say for example Cost of preferences equal to 10% How many percentage? 10% let us say, for example, cost of equity is also equal to, we can say, 12%. Let us say, for example, cost of return earning is, let us say, for example, 10%, right? And let us say, for example, cost of debt is, for example, equal to 8%. How many percentage? 8%. Here, we find out the average cost of capital for the business. 10% plus 12 become 22, 22 become 30, become equal to how much? Become 40. So the total cost become equal to 40. 40 divided by how much? 40. 40. Let us take it here. 40 divided by 4, you get equal to how many percentage? 10 percentage. It means on an average basis, on an average basis, cost of capital is equal to how many percentage? Equal to 10 percentage. This one can be called as what? Weighted average cost of capital. Also, we can call it Y. On an average basis, how much is the cost of capital? Only finding out the preference cost, equity cost, return ending, and dividend is not, and, and debt is not enough. So we have to find out the average cost of capital. Why it is needed? Because, because the amount of money that you have received from equity might be different. The amount of money from, from preference is different. The amount of money from return ending and from debt is different. That is why you have to find out weighted average cost of capital, right? So, there are a few steps that how we can calculate the weighted average cost of capital. Steps which are involved in calculation of work. Number one, which is very important and of course a little bit lengthy steps is assignments of weights. Assignments of weights can be made in two ways. Assignments of weight based on book and as well as assignments of weight based on the market. So first one is book value weights. What is book value weights? Book valuates are the relative proportion of the various source of capital to the total capital. Step number one, we have to find out that out of the total capital, how many percentages belong to preference? How many percentages belong to equity? How many percentages belong to return earning? As well as how many percentages belong to debt? But of course, this percentage should be found out based on the book value. Based on the book value, we have two values. One value is book value, the second one is market value. Book value means how much you have recorded in the book of account for the first time which you have issued. And market value means how much is the value of this one as in the market. Let us say a simple example. You purchase a machine for 10,000 and you have recorded in the book. So book value is equal to 10,000. And right now market value is also 10,000. But after passing some time, the market price may be more than 10,000 or less than 10,000. And that one can be called as what? As market value, right? So whatever you purchase at the beginning and you have recorded in the book, that is called book value. And whatever is, it is value in the market, that is called market value. The same thing can be applied in the case of source of funds. Source of funds at the beginning, it has different value. Later on, it may increase in the market or it may decrease. Initially, for example, you issue a share for 100. Later on, it may be for more than 100 or less than 100. So whatever you have issued at the beginning, you have recorded as book value. So once we find out the weight of each source of fund based on the book value, for example, the total capital of the business, let us say, is equal to, we can say 1,000. Out of 1,000, how, how many percentage is equity? How many percentage is debt? How many percentages we can say preference and how much percentages equal to how many percentages for example for return earnings based on the book value right one thing and the second thing it will be clear much more if we go for the example inshallah in the next video and the second one is market value weights market value weights may be calculated on the basis of market value of the different source of fund for example the proportion of each source of fund and that is market value right let us say, for example, initially the book value was, for example, uh, let us say 1,000. Now the market value is, for example, equal to 1,500. Out of 1,500, how many percentage is belong to equity? How many percentage is belong to debt? 
how many percentage belong to preference and how many percentages belong to return earning right you have to find out this one and step number two is this one computation of a specific cost of computation of a specific cost of each source of fund and that is already already found that it means we have to find out cost of equity cost of preference cost of return and then cost of uh, we can say debt and so on right individual cost of each source of fund each source of fund to be found out and that is already done in the previous stage we know how to find out the cost of different source of fund but for calculation of one this cost will be given directly in the question in order to avoid consuming uh, much time Step number four, after this one, computation of work, how to calculate it, there is one step only for just, we can say, multiplication. So we will multiply the weights into a specific cost, and then we will sum up, you will get the weighted average cost of capital. Inshallah, please watch the next video in order to see how to calculate the weighted average cost of capital based on the book value as well as based on the market.